Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Art Joshua Collins, I'm the founder of the Facebook group Homeless Advocates for Christ. And uh, this is an uh, article from the, uh, actually it's called Slatist, but the, the, the writer is Mark Joseph Stern. The title of the article is Justice Department Tells Cities to Stop Criminalizing Homelessness. I don't know if you know, knew this, but last Thursday, the United States Department of Justice filed a statement of interest in a federal lawsuit against Boise, Idaho for enforcing anti-camping laws against homeless people. The Department of Justice argues that enforcing these measures against the homeless violates the Eighth Amendment prohibition of cruel and unusual punishments if nearby shelters are filled to capacity. The DOJ's brief should at least put cities across the country on notice that criminali criminalizing homelessness is constitutionally suspect. And then uh, it goes on, the Department of Justice argument rests on two key Supreme Court cases, Robinson versus California and Powell versus Texas. And taken together, Robinson and Powell strongly suggest that the cities are constitutionally barred from arresting homeless people for sleeping outside when shelters are full. Homelessness, after all, constitutes status, not conduct. And when shelters are at capacity, homeless people have no choice but to sleep outside. To arrest them for doing so would be tantamount to criminalizing homelessness a quintessentially cruel and unusual punishment. So that, that's kind of something that came out of the Department of Justice recently. I don't know if you knew about that, but I would like to have a future meeting with you just regarding this. And of course, we've been asking for a safe zone for the homeless to sleep and I haven't really got any action there at all, but I would like to maybe work on that because people need somewhere to sleep still in Anaheim. There's still not a shelter out here. Um, and unfortunately, Officer Piscopo recently also ticketed and confiscated uh, a homeless person for having their property in the park with them, and they had it with them, uh, their property. They got a ticket for having their property and had some of it taken from them. And Sergeant Adrian, who's at nose back here, uh, just said that they're not supposed to get tickets for having property with them. Uh, now, that's the thing, uh, is this, a lot of these officers are doing different things with that law uh, regarding the property law. So. Uh, Hopefully we can have a, a future meeting about that. Um, of course, they, they were doing three-hour tags, but recently uh, another uh, homeless woman, about 59 years old, had her property taken also, and there was no taking given. She went to the bathroom and tried to take care of what she had to do, and she came out and all her property was gone. So that's still happening at Maxwell Park. And Sergeant Lozo also told uh, some homeless people today that you can't even watch your friend's property for them if your friend has to go somewhere. Uh, so, as a city of kindness, I'm hoping that we could, you know, get changes regarding Sor Sergeant Lozo's behavior, uh, Piscopo's behavior, uh, Officer Piscopo and others. Um, I'd just like to hear what you have to say regarding a future meeting. I think it would be great uh, just to go over some of this stuff and just so you know, Legal Aid of OC actually came out to uh, the park today. And of course, I don't think on your watch it would look good if you had a lawsuit against the city that taxpayers have to pay for regarding the treatment of the homeless in the city of kindness. So. I had hoped that maybe you could uh, work with us on this. Going back into 
society, which actually has uh, saved millions of dollars a year, which is, that's where the community needs to be told and to, for you to outreach that community because these other people are gaining, gaining into where they're manipulating the people to think in the wrong ways, which are actually They, they, they have improved nothing. I asked them about the solutions. They have no solutions. You know, the, they call themselves uh, better solutions for Anaheim. What? That's a deceptive name. And then, you know, you can't talk to this community sense. But you can prove, here it is the proof that, uh, you know, the shelters work. 